What's going on everyone? DSP here. Welcome to a new edition of a Loot Crate unboxing that is unprecedented because ladies and gents, the Blue Crate box that I'm unboxing today is Marvel Gear and Goods. This is a brand new Loot Crate subscription that is available now on LootCrate.com. Um, it's a bi-monthly one, I believe. So every two months. Um, and I'm going to show you what kind of stuff you can actually get in the Marvel Gear and Goods crate right here in this video. First of all, just to take a look, it is one of the more unique looking loot crates. Take a look, it is covered in Marvel Comics artwork. And you've got a varied group of, I see Doctor Strange, I see the Avengers, I see uh, characters from Guardians of the Galaxy on here, the Hulk, there you go. That was, uh, I believe, Black Widow right there. I'm not going to show you the bottom because that has my address on it, but... You know, all this information here. Look, Thor, look at that. It's pretty neat. You know, the other loot crates, at least on the outside of them, don't really have anything appealing, right? They just look pretty plain. This one in particular is pretty neat of having that artwork on the outside, okay? Um, so, just a reminder before I unbox this, this is an unprecedented new loot box. Our loot crate is not available uh, until right now. It's a brand new line, okay? So this is cool that I can do this for you. It's a first. If you watch this video and you like what you see and you're like, man, maybe I'd like to get a Loot Crate, uh, go to the referral link that I have. It's lootcrate.com forward slash darksidefill and use the code SAVEME10DSP. That's SAVEME10DSP to save 10% on any new Loot Crate subscription. It could be the Marvel Gear and Goods. It could be Loot Gaming, which I've unboxed, Loot Anime, which I've unboxed, the standard Loot Crate, which I've unboxed, and coming next month, the WWE Slam Crate I'll be unboxing, so maybe you want to check that one out. Whatever it is, whatever subscription you get, use that referral link and that discount code to save 10%. All right? Okay, let's take a look at what is in the very first ever Marvel Gear and Goods Loot Crate. Here we go. Not sure what that flap is. Let's open this up. The Book of Darkhold is what it is on the inside. Well, we've got one giant thing here right on top. Oh my goodness. It's heavy too. And it's obviously some kind of a piece of clothing. Let's unfold this sucker and see exactly what it is. Oh my God, look at this. It's huge. It is, oh my God. Marvel Gear and Goods. Take a look at this. Large, extra large, because I, I signed up that my size is large. It looks to be a almost like a hoodie, but not really, because, <laughs> oh my God, I gotta see this. All right, hold on a second. I gotta try this on, hold on, <laughs> let's see. Wow. Now, I warn everyone, my hair was not prepared for this. I did not, uh, I did not do my hair or anything before this, but, uh, I'm gonna prop, oh my god, where do you see this? So, what I'll do is I'll rotate the camera around here so you can see me, okay? And I'll step back and we'll see if you can see what this looks like, all right? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> it's a big Doctor Strange robe, okay? Look at this, it's long, it goes all the way down to my knees, okay? Look, all the way down to my friggin' knees. And uh, here, here you go. Here's your your belt to tie it off. The Doctor Strange robe. Now I've not yet seen Doctor Strange. I'm actually planning on seeing it later this week. Uh, but he is a neat Marvel Comics character. And uh, you know the movie just released this past weekend in the United States. I know worldwide it's been out for a little bit longer. Um, but this is pretty cool. Full, I mean, full size robe. This is a real robe. Full on, you know, it's it's actually decent heftiness to the to the cloth. It's not like it's weak or anything. So for cosplayers, right, you're probably gonna love this. Or for someone who just wanna wear this around the house and be silly with this big popped collar, Doctor Strange collar. You can also wear it like this, by the way. You don't have to have the collar pop. You can, you know, push it back and just wear it like this around the house normally if you don't want to have the collar pop. But, you know. If you want to be Doctor Strange, you've got to have the giant popped collar that serves absolutely no purpose, right? So there you have it, the Doctor Strange row. I'll, I'll rotate here, you guys can see the back, I'll rotate. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, wow. 
All right, let's get back to the rest of the box. <laughs> let's see what else they have in store for us. I mean, that's just one item in this box. I see a few others. Hold on a second. Whoops. Let me take this down. Okay, what else do we have in here? All right, we've got a Scarlet Witch toothpick holder. Hmm. Wash with warm and soapy water before use, not for your microwave. Let's see what the heck this is. Oh, toothpick holders, excuse me. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a... Toothpick holder? Uh, this is a shot glass. Maybe they didn't want it to say shot glass because they were afraid, oh, you know, it's Marvel Comics. You're, you're appealing to kids or whatever with, with alcohol. This is undoubtedly a shot glass. That's a really cool one, too. Look, Scarlet Witch artwork on it. What's the other one? Ooh, and this one, she's playing a harp. And there is a crow on the top of the harp. See that? Scarlet Witch. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you could fill those with toothpicks if you really desired. I think probably one out of a hundred people who actually get this loot crate would do that. These are obviously not toothpick holders. They are shot glasses. There you go. Two Scarlet Witch shot glasses. What else do we have? What is this? I have no idea. Let's take a look. Nothing. There's no indication of what it could be. Luke Cave presents Marvel Gear and Goods. What the, I still don't know what it is. What is it? It's heavy. Whoa. I believe it's a coaster set. It is. It's a Doctor Strange metallic coaster set. Look at that. Wow, that is, oh shit, there's more, wow, wait a minute, that's Doctor Strange, right? Isn't that Baron Mordo? That's Baron friggin' Mordo. What the, look at that. Nice. Put those down here. Are the same? Are these the others too? Yeah, they're the same. Two, you get two Doctor Strange and two Baron Mordo uh, coasters. Now, by the way, this is not how Baron Mordo looks in the freaking movie. I've seen how he looks in the movie. Of course, for the movies, they redesign the characters completely. But that is pretty cool. A full-on coaster set. Look at that. Put it right down here. Pan the camera down a little. Actually, can I zoom out? Or No, I'm actually zoomed all the way. Pan down a little bit here. There you go. So now, when you're drinking with your Scarlet Witch shot glasses, you can put those shot glasses down on your Doctor Strange coasters so that you don't dribble all over your countertop. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, what do we got here? We have a Dormammu. That's Dormammu. I recognize him from Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and also, of course, because I was a reader of Marvel Comics. He is a demon, one of the villains from the Doctor Strange universe. A Dormammu pin. Okay. And what is this on the bottom? It looks like some kind of an art print. And indeed it is. It is some kind of an artistic print. I see Iron Fist here doing a flying split, kicking a bunch of people in the face. Looks like terrorists or something. Then Iron Fist is grabbing the guy by the head while he ninja kicks the other people away. And uh, he continues to beat the shit out of them. So it doesn't say what it is on the back, but it does say it's a loot crate kind of deal, see? Okay, so now, here, we've got the actual description of all the items on the inside. So, the very first ever, 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 the every, very first ever, Marvel, gear and goods, loot crate. Pretty cool. Let's look at the back. So it says, zoop, here we go. Marvel's greatest magic users have come together in our first gear and goods crate to usher in the Age of Mystics and to spruce up your Sanctum Sanctorum a bit. The Sanctum Sanctorum, if you don't know, is the hidden headquarters of Doctor Strange. It's kind of like his, you know, his lair. So, the Doctor Strange Cloak of Levitation Robe. Enjoy Sunday mornings in your Sanctum Sanctorum or casual hangout with your awesome facial hair bros in Sorcerer Supreme style. The robe modeled after Doctor Strange's Cloak of Levitation won't help you float, but you will look fly. <laughs> All right, we've got the exclusive Scarlet Witch toothpick holder. It's not. Oh my god! It's not a toothpick holder. Why do they say it's a toothpick holder? Why are they so afraid? Oh, I got need to know. 
Why are they so afraid to call it a shot glass? I don't know. It's definitely a shot glass. So unlike Wanda, you can't pick your reality, but you can pick your teeth. Put a hex on your dental hygiene with these beautiful art, art pick, uh, toothpick art, tooth, <sighs> these beautiful toothpick holders art by David Aja. Thank you. Okay. The Immortal Iron Fist art print. They are Legion. They are Hydra. How they must face the dragon in this powerful scene from the Immortal Iron Fist number one are also by David Aja. There you go. Exclusive. Doctor Strange versus Baron Mordo coaster set. Fight back against the chaotic forces of condensation with these laser engraved steel coasters featuring Doctor Strange and his nemesis Baron Mordo. Very nice. I love those. I am going to start using these. I'm not even lying. I'm going to start using these in my house. Look how awesome that looks. And, of course, the Dormammu pin. If you value your miserable life or your precious immortal soul, it helps to show your allegiance to the Dread One, especially when traveling through the Dark Dimension. Now, I do have to wonder... By the way, it says at the bottom, 616, 617. I don't know if that's if that's numbering the set or not. I have no idea. Um, I do have to wonder, did they give you the pin? Because most loot crates come with a pin. Loot Gaming... Uh, and the standard loot crate both come with pins. I don't think the loot anime one does. But I think maybe what they were going for was they wanted to do something a little a, a more cons a little more congruous with the other loot crates. Look at this, my arms. A little more congruous with loot crates. I know I conjure up something for you. Oh. Um, and it looks to me like a lot of the loot crates that they do, if you were to turn this box inside out, it would look like the bo Book of Darkfold. I'm not going to do that on camera right now. But... That's pretty neat. First of all, the robe itself, I mean, it's a full-size robe. It's probably worth, look at this thing. It's probably worth, like, 30, 40 bucks. You know, to get a licensed Marvel Comics clothing apparel product that's big like this is probably pretty expensive, right? And then you got the shot glasses themselves are probably worth 5 to 10 bucks. The coaster set's probably worth 5 to 10 bucks. You're getting around, in my, from my estimation, around maybe a 50 to $60 value uh, in this loot crate bi-monthly subscription. So, I don't know what the pricing is. I definitely recommend you check it out because I know it is a new crate and it's going to have different pricing probably from all the others. But for a first crate value, I mean, here, I'll take the robe off. <laughs> I'll take the robe off and put it down over here. For the very first one that they're doing, I think they went all out with the value of what you're getting in it, probably because they wanted to show that this is going to be a pretty awesome crate if you do subscribe to it on a monthly basis. So there you have it. You've got your Doctor Strange robe, right? I'm trying to get this all in one shot here. It's going to be an undertaking. I get the feeling. Your Doctor Strange robe, your Iron Fist art print, which is not going to stay up. Oh, it did. I lucked out. Your coasters and your pin, your Dormammu pin. So that is pretty, oh, pretty oh, I knew it, <laughs> I knew it. That is a pretty good damn first attempt at a new Loot Crate subscription. So if you like what you've seen here, here's what you gotta realize, especially with Marvel Comics. The Marvel movies are huge right now. Every Marvel movie that's released, think, think about in the past few years, Captain America Civil War, all the Iron Man movies, the Avengers movies, Guardians of the Galaxy is getting a sequel next year, okay? We got the new Avengers movie coming up shortly. Um, and I'm sure with Ant-Man and these other franchises, they already said they're making a Black Panther movie. You're going to see a lot of Marvel Comics specific things coming up. This might be one of the specific loot crates you want to subscribe to because it's probably going to have some pretty awesome merchandise tying in with all of these new movies coming out in the next few years. This was the perfect time for them to launch a loot crate like this. And let's be honest here, this is one of the coolest merch tie-ins that I've seen in a loot crate, some useful items for around the house rather than just, oh, here's a statue collectible that's gonna sit on a shelf. Useful items. I like this one, man. This is a good one for me. Just for me, I'm gonna use these coasters. Hell, I'll probably wear this just to be silly around the house, you know? And, you know, who doesn't want more shot glasses? So, pretty sweet. And uh, I have to give this one a thumbs up. For the very first Marvel Gear and Goods loot crate, a strong thumbs up for me. Um, if you're interested, maybe you want to possibly subscribe to this particular Loot Crate. Again, referral link, lootcrate.com forward slash darksidephil. Use the code SAVEME10 DSP to save yourself 10%. All right, that is it for the very first Marvel Gear and Goods Loot Crate. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you found this interesting. And 
I will be doing this again. Yes, it's been confirmed. I've decided I will probably do this again come the next one. Now, this is bi-monthly. I want to emphasize this. It's bi-monthly. So you will not see a Marvel crate next month. You'll see a Marvel crate in two months' time. So if you say, oh, maybe this is, oh, man, maybe this is just the first crate. So that's why it's so good. Now, let's see. Let's judge. Next time, let's see how this Marvel crate turns out. All right? That's it, everyone. Thank you for watching my unboxing. I'll see you next month for WWE Slam Crate. And, uh, and that's that. Peace out, everyone.